Hi Gemini, welcome to your after the retrograde forecast for singles. Now please take note that this is only a general reading. And uh, it might not resonate to all Geminis out there, alright? Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. And what is going on exactly in your relationship at this point. So I'll be doing four different spreads. How do you see each other? Where do you go from here? Hurt feelings and the bottom line. Now, let's see. How do you see each other at this point? Oh, Gemini. It's like you've already had enough. And... There is a temptation, you know, that's been like um, disturbing the harmony of your relationship. This is how you really feel at this point. How your partner feels at this point. Ooh la la. They feel very in demand. And you are struggling. While they are... St well, they are just... I feel like this affair is very new. Alright. And they're actually with somebody who is older than them. And has a child already. Now let's take a look. How do you actually hurt each other? Now please take note that's a, that this is a general reading. It could be reversed. It could be the other way around. So it's already up to you. How will you be fitting yourself? Alright. Now let's take a look. All right, okay. Oh, Gemini, it's like you are already on the verge of making a decision that, you know, enough is enough. I'm done. I'm so fed up with this. Like, it's like, you know, this is the final end and this is the final leg of your story. Now, <clears throat> it seems like your partner at this point doesn't care at all because they feel very in demand, they feel very handsome or beautiful at this point because, well, you know, two people both at the same time in their life. And, um, well, you, you have tried to fight so hard to make this relationship work, but then the person that you're with is unfortunately very selfish, okay? They're only... Um, they're only concentrating on their own happiness and their own needs. Now, this if this actually applies to you as your moon rising, then um, especially I feel like if you are with a fire sign or with an air sign, you know, then I feel like it's time for you to let go of this relationship because this relationship, you know, outside of your marriage or partnership, it's just new. Now... As, you know, you've already given enough. And this relationship brought you nothing but an emotional strife and mental stress and physical um, physical stress as well and anxiety. While with your partner, they're very happy because they are just, you know, starting a brand new relationship. Now, Gemini, you're still willing to work it out. You're still willing to give your all and you're still willing to... You know, forgive and work things through. But then your partner, who is very discontented, will still continuously, you know, create a lot of mess and chaos. And it's like their communications, you know, between this other person will still be, you know, ongoing. And I don't feel like uh, your partner have any, um, have any uh, plans of uh, seizing it. Okay, or, uh, sorry, uh, severing the ties, okay? Well, you will be working so hard, and to be fair, you know, your finances will also start getting better, and so is your, your work. But you are starting to build your walls up, okay? Now, somehow, your partner feels like they're very triumphant at this point, and... Oh, okay, you have the money 
and they're happy right now because it seems like the other person that they're kind of seeing with at this point or cheating with have some plans of moving together okay they want to see if things will somehow work out but let's see if it's gonna work out you will somehow know about it okay you're uh, you have to listen to your instinct and unfortunately if you can actually see the tree on top of this high priestess there's already um there's already a um what do you call this like a like a warning with the moon at the f uh, with the moon landing on her feet and even if there is a tree okay but if you can take a look that there is no enough soil or no ground that this tree is holding on to meaning that once they move in together i don't feel like they will be building enough foundation that this relationship will only be built by um opportunity taking advantage of each other feeding from each other's narcissism and you know greediness somehow you it's like you you know you don't really have to get confused with other options or with the things that you should do and can do because you're very versatile you're very flexible you're smart okay even if you will be moving away from this relationship it doesn't really matter because you can survive on your own plus you have the money you have more established living you have more established finances and like this person that you're with who is just pretty much relying on you yet they have the audacity to cheat on you and you know do something on the side now the result of this as i've said that even if they're going to be moving in together and this will happen, you know, because they're going to be happy. They feel like, oh my God, so what if you're going to leave me? Fine, go, you know. I will be moving in with my new one. So they will be acting like an asshole. And they are definitely, you know, feel like this relationship that they're going to be starting soon with someone will flourish and will succeed just like how you did in the past unfortunately that this whole relationship is just a joke okay this relationship that they're gonna be getting themselves in or they're gonna be digging the, themselves in is nothing but an empty promise an empty bucket okay and the result of that is they're gonna be alone and they're gonna be weathering the storm alone and be stuck in the cold alone while you okay while you will continuously seize more opportunity financially growth development investments growing your portfolio and you know making sound and good um decisions about uh new investments and you know here's also the thing because your partner never really appreciated you being so hard working and continuously working on your you know in yourselves and family and stuff like that but it is what it is because you know if you're not going to be working so hard while your partner doesn't really have any dreams aims and ambition then nothing will happen to both of you okay Plus, I feel like this person is very... I feel like this person is also a fire sign. Air or fire sign. Okay. And they are right now conniving with somebody who's born in the year of the dog. Now... The bottom line here is the moon. And you will continuously receive more opportunities as part of your good karma. Okay. Because what goes up will go down. What goes down will go up. And vice versa yet when this person comes back to you make sure that you also learned your lesson well okay and you will start see and you will start a brand new opportunity a brand new life somewhere across the seas and you're only waiting for the uh, right opportunity okay to go to leave 
and to relocate which is I feel like relocating will be a better option for you and relocating will be a better path for you while this person will be continuously fighting all the odds and all the consequences of what they have done and you will continuously flourish your destiny and this person will be judged because you know they've been very um you're a very strong person they were very gullible and they feel like you know they could have it all they feel so beautiful or handsome or very in demand yet you know the lesson of cheating is okay not all cheating are actually bad okay sometimes we meet the right one or we meet our soulmates or twin flames while we're already entangled with somebody that's not, you know, that's not really meant for us. But, you know, they were only there to guide us and protect us. So, for you to, for you not to incur bad karma, you have to rectify the mistake, okay? If you feel like you're all slowly falling out of love with your partner and you only feel awe, then it's time for you to be more honest, like... I can't really stay in this relationship anymore. Wait for six months to one year before you get into a relationship with somebody. Okay? I mean, don't cut off the ties. And I feel like also look for a sign. If this person will come back to you at the right time, at the right phase, go. Now, somehow, but most of the cheatings are very harmful and very uh, destructible. Okay? It causes a lot of families to be broken it causes a lot of dreams people hearts health to be deteriorated broken and gone sometimes you know sometimes literally they feel dead or sometimes they just want to you know end their life in a certain way but when you cheat on someone you are the one who is entering into the cave of bad karma and 10 times 10, you're going to get it back. Okay? Or it will be haunting you back. Because if you don't want to be in a relationship anymore, if you or if your feelings have already changed for your partner, you must, and it's much better for you to be more honest about it rather than cheating. But with this, with this whole thing that I can see here, this is all about insecurities and vindictiveness. I don't feel like this person is really in love because they, they only know how to love themselves and nobody else. They only know that people that they are with should provide endlessly for them and should make them pleasurable and should make them happy, should give them the comfort that they need because they feel like they deserve it. But what do they give you in return? And this is the lesson that you have to learn. This is the truth that you need to open your eyes with. Sorry, that you need to open up your eyes with. Alright. So, what hurts you? I mean, what? how do you hurt each other? You have a lot of feelings for your partner. It's like you're even ready to give your all. But then somewhere, somehow, you're starting to see the red flags for the past few weeks or months or days. And yet you know that this person is having an affair. You're only waiting for the um, right evidence to show up. And you're just ready to give it a go. And you're ready to go. Eight of Cups. Now, how your partner sees you. Your partner sees that you are partners. Okay, that you're together. You're married. But it looks like with a lack of work and with a lack of support and resources, they feel so insecure. They want to compete. They want to prove themselves. They want to, you know, they want to s let other people see that they are also effective, efficient, and uh, useful. But then the main thing and the main problem with this person is their behavior and attitude. That's why they cannot really attain anything in life because once they, you know, like for example, once they step, once they make a, just a one step, okay, from the stairs, they feel like they're already on top. Just one step and they feel like that's already, you know, 
the success that they are that they've been dreaming of and that you know people should rejoice for that which is it's not now you on the other hand will remain um established well financially secured while this person will keep on looking for opportunities and moreover i feel like the two of you will you know start reviewing and questioning your feelings for each other and if you still want to stay in this relationship okay so let's take a look at where do you go from here and the bottom line especially that you know this year there are a lot of um what do you call this like uh, there are a lot of um eclipses blood moon weird moon weird faces and by the time that the venus retrogrades in october if you've been having some problems in your relationship that is the time that you know it will be the permanent ending and they're going to be settling with the one that they have cheated on but then you know who knows if they're going to be making it or not now this is your situation this is what causes your problems what you fail to express what you fail to respect your feelings, your solution, outcome. I feel like this is not really the first time that this person cheated on you, but you just keep on forgiving, forgiving, forgiving. This is you, your partner, <laughs> and they really appear as you know, the devil. Okay. You know, just concentrate on your own. Oh, okay, then this is really a fire sign. Okay, um, your current situation right now is that both of you are acting proud, which is obviously, you know, nobody can blame you for feeling like this because it's only your pride that you can save in this relationship. Whereas this person have already trampled on you, treated you like a doormat and uh, treated you in a very unfair way. Okay. Now, what's causing your, what's causing problems in your relationship is that one, status, second, there's competition and question of authority, and third, there is like somebody plays like who's the boss, okay? Like for example, you're the one who's the breadwinner and you're the one who has more money or you're the one who's been feeding your, your partner, yet even you know at this point or even at that situation your partner feels like they're the one who should make the call and not you now what you have failed to respect i'm oh, sorry what you have failed to, re to express you should have already cut off this habit or this thing you know the cheating the first time that they have striked on you now what you have failed to respect you feelings this person doesn't have any respect for your feelings and this person doesn't have any respect to your relationship now the solution it's time to cut it off it's time to let this person face their own ghost and consequences of their action and uh, you know whatever happens to them even if they're going to be sleeping on the street it's no longer your problem because they have created their own demise now, the final, well, the outcome, well, the outcome is that 
It's time for you to walk away. Well, even if there is a solution, this person only sees you as an opportunity. Or to feed from your resources. Now, this is you. And this is the your partner. Your partner is definitely the devil at this point. Or they're really having an affair. And I'm pretty sure that you've been seeing some red flag signs even... For the past few months or weeks already that they've been talking to somebody every time that the two of you are having some fights or every time that you were busy and this person will never ever change you've given enough chance you've tried to understand the situation their insecurities their shortcomings but it's never enough it will never be enough for somebody who's very discontented in life now you as a hierophant at this point you need to learn your lesson you need to open up your eyes, recognize the red flag that's, you know, that life is already waving right in front of your face and don't just disregard it. Your partner is the devil who will always take advantage of people's generosity, um, belief, faith, and, you know, um, their needs. And I feel like you have been clinging on to this person blindedly, even from the you know, right from the very beginning because you feel like you've got nowhere to go or you feel like you don't have any other choice. But you do. You know, you do. And you're a very successful person in your chosen endeavor and this is what they are so envious about. This is the reason why they keep on constantly cheating on you and betray you. Money, trust, family affair you know because they cannot they know that they cannot like um inc uh, what do you call this reach up the peak of your success so this is their way of making you go down so be extra strong okay and you will always hold the pentacles you will always hold the uh, the humbleness and the um Especially for those earth signs who has a moon rising in Gemini. You know, this is actually uh, like, a, like an eye-opener for you. Your partner, on the other hand, will seem so defensive. And will continuously act like they don't care or they're not really affected. But deep inside of them, they are very threatened. Now, they are looking for somebody who can, you know, provide for them or who can continuously feed their, you know, their vices and uh, stuff like that or their habits. But the bottom line of this is that they're the one who's going to be struggling. And in the end, around six weeks, six months, they're going to end up asking for forgiveness from you. So, Gemini... There's nothing wrong if you should forgive or, you know, if you need to forgive somebody. But that doesn't mean that you should open up your doors again to this person. Learn how to forgive so that you can fully move on. And it's actually really, you know, it's very difficult to travel with a very heavy luggage or baggage. Okay? They don't have any space in your life. And they don't have any space in your success. All right, it's time for you to open up your eyes, Gemini. Anyway, that's it for you for now. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live video calls, um, go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. All right, blessings to you.